Wow. How can you tap the screen? Maybe how? Oh, it's out of stock. Yeah. So this vending machine, mm -hmm. yeah, you can get um, wadabe mochi is a Japanese sweet, like traditional Japanese sweet. It's really chewy and dusted with soybean powder called pinako. And when it comes back, it also has chilled, you attach. chilled um, mitarashi dango which is a mochi chewy rice cake and the sauce is what we call mitarashi and it's like a sugar soy sauce based sauce i really like mitarashi dango but it's sold out and so. yeah if you want to eat it you have to come by yeah june 20th yeah because so it like, looks like the food changes yes food then the like mm. the shop will be changed right so the desserts here change um, frequently, it looks like. This is only one week, just one week. And, um, but hey, if you're ever yeah. in the north exit area of the Mido Suji subway line, you can come to this vending machine and eat the snack of the week. So. And they mentioned the temperature of inside is 6 Celsius? Means 6 degrees like... Celsius, so it's, probably, it's about 40, Five degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. So let's check how does it work. How does it work? Well, I imagine you select your dessert. If you want to buy it, you'll hit this one here. It shows you your price, it shows you how much you paid, and you can pay using a credit card, a QR code, or e money. Yeah, can you tap e-money? So if you use e-money, you can use yeah. your Ipoca card, so your oh, train yeah. pass. Train pass. And then you just scan your card. And it will take you to the next one. Yeah. Okay. And you can hit the end button and finish. If you need a receipt, scan the QR code. We don't need a receipt. Yeah, we don't so need. Can close it. And they say this store will be open automatically. It has a countdown on the screen. Countdown, on the yeah, three, two, one. Pretty ah. windy. Wow, oh. <laughs> Yen, but it comes in a nice little box. Fancy. Yeah. We're not gonna eat it here because that's rude in Japan to eat in a train station like this. Mm. But let's open so we can look inside. Wow. So you got some. Ooh. You got your warabi, your mochi, your warabi mochi, and you got the soybean powder in a separate bag so you can sprinkle on it the way that you like it. And it comes with. Little, a little spatula eating utensil mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah. Let's eat it later. Let's eat it later, yeah. yeah. So it's time to open! Ta-da! Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of warabi <laughs> monchi. Mm. Wow. Oishi so. Oishi so. Looks good. Yeah. Can you like um, put yeah. the powder on it? Yep, yep. I'm going for it. Yeah. So we got a mochi. We're gonna take our soybean powder. <laughs> Is that soybean powder? Yeah, kinako. Kina yeah. Kinako. It's soybean powder. Mm. I really like pineapple actually. Like I want to explore the taste of original one. So okay, can you okay. like put the like side of it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll first just try plain what I've been Say itadakimasu. So what I've is really sticky guys. Mm. If you can tell, it's like impossible. Got it. It's like jello, mm. like really stiff jello. If you can't imagine the texture, it's like jello. Does it taste nothing? Not a very strong taste, just like slight sugar sweet taste. Mm. That's why the kinako is important, the kinako powder. This is what gives it flavor. Is it okay if I put it on? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Kinako is great, I love it. And for the people that are like more healthy minded, kinako has a lot of protein. Mm. Because it's, it's soybean? Because it's soybeans, yeah. So lots of protein. Maybe if I can get it out, I will eat it on it. <laughs> I don't want to eat it. It's sticky? It's really sticky. Stretch. Come on. So Whoa. close, so close. It's like a game, you guys. It's like yeah. a game. Are you going to be able to eat it or not? You don't know. You don't know. I'll try to cut it. Maybe. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> I'm going to use my fingers really soon. You did it. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> So the kinako is going to be a more dry texture, mm -hmm. which is a little um, strange for Americans if you haven't, because it's a texture we're not familiar with. It is really dry at first, but it does like melt on your tongue really quickly and adds a nice kind of, not, it doesn't taste like peanut butter, but it's like reminiscent of mm. like peanut butter powder. And so, this thing is it important to keep it frozen, mm -hmm. like fridge in the fridge? To keep uh, wadabi mochi? Yeah. Um, it is better if you keep it chilled just for Does like, it taste food, like food yeah. preservation mm. mostly? Um, and it tastes like a nice cool jello treat because the textures like jello. Mm. It probably would be more comfortable for Americans to eat it when it's cold because mm. we eat jello when it's cold. So, if it was hot, it would probably melt. Well, what kind of food like does it like match with this hmm. kinako warabi yes. mochi? Because the warabi mochi doesn't have much taste itself, the kinako powder really kind of gives it its flavor. And so it's not, it doesn't clash at all. It really complements the, the nutty taste of the soybean powder, the kinako, and the just barely there sweetness of the mochi. So it's not real mochi, it's not made of rice like other mochi is, but if it is called mochi, warabi mm. mochi, so. But it's a traditional Japanese sweet. You'll find it in many popular tourist places like Kyoto mm. um, and other places that really try to showcase traditional Japanese culture. And so if you want to be explore like traditional Japanese sweets, this is a must get. You don't have to get it at a vending machine, but I definitely recommend <laughs> eating it. Yeah. I like it. It's one of my favorites. So, so? I recommend. Mm. So I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye. Bye, -bye.